What up, YouTube? Uh, just doing another quick review. Um, yeah, just doing a quick review. Uh, you guys might actually like this one better. You guys might be proud of me. So, uh, I'll set the scene. So yesterday, let's put it this way. Yesterday, um, I was gonna shoot my revolver that I got. I bet I've done a re I think I've done a review on it. I don't know. But yeah, I was gonna go shoot my revolver yesterday. I got it all ready. And then the, uh, it was leaking gas. So now I got a new gun. I went to the store. Um, it was pretty long. Long story short, we I went in there, uh, went back there at the dinner, and I got this one. Uh, it's the uh, I think it's a Firepower .40. Uh, uh, cockback action, CO2 powered blowback. Um, it's got if you can see, it's got some lineup sights here. Let me get it right for you. Oh, hang on a second. Of this. There we go. Got some light up sights, which I really like. So it's nice for aiming. Um, 26 round clip, which I was really amazed about. Um, yeah, there's the clip. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy from mags I've held. 26 round CO2. CO2 actually goes in the mag. You can see there's a little river here where you unscrew it, put the mag, put the CO2 in, screw back up. Uh, yeah, 26 rounds. Pretty heavy. Um, it's got a pretty weird safety though. So it's got a slide catch, which is nice. So you'll know when the mag's empty. Um, it's got, like I said, it's got a pretty weird safety. It's got, here's the uh, mag release by the way. It's right here. It's kind of a weird one. Different than what I've seen. Uh, here's the safety. Right here. Right down here. Pop. Uh, it's, it's on safety. Uh, but yeah, I'll I'll go get the box. Hang on, let me get the box real quick. It's right here. Got a couple of things in it. All right, let's push this stuff back in there. All right, so let me set the gun aside. So I bought this at the Replay Sports Maryland Replay Sports from Simons. I believe you could buy it online. I I think it's a really good buy so far. So you can see it's the Firepower pistol, .40, 382 FPS. Um, yeah, it's got some stuff down here at the bottom. I won't, I won't really go in depth with that stuff. Um, let's open it up. So, well, I've already opened it up, of course, because I got the gun out, but... So, when you open it up, I kind of ripped it, but, yeah, that's there. Pull out, pull it out. It's got some star... It's a styrofoam. It's a box inside. It's got a styrofoam. That has two CSC cartridges in here. So, technically... Hold on a sec. When you open up the box, you'll find it like this. Right. So it's coming in the box like that. You can kind of see that. I just put my gun back in there. It comes in like that. It comes in the pack about, I don't know, say 30 BBs. They go fast, though. Um, it comes with a couple tools. This is for the CO2, I think, or something like that. Um, this is the tool to adjust the CO2. Uh, compressor, whatever you want to call it. I think this is for the sights or the hop up. I think actually I think this is a hop up. It's amazingly I don't think I've seen any other gun, airsoft pistol online, that has uh adjustable hop up. I don't know. You know, I haven't really looked. But yeah, so you'll take out the gun. When I first got it, it was really nice. And it's nice and it's nice and a good I think it's a good weight for a pistol. I mean my my uh, BB pistol is pretty light. For the BB pistol, but this is definitely. I mean, I first grabbed it yesterday, like when. Oh my god. Tyler, do not, do not make fun of me, please. But yeah, when I picked it up yesterday at the store, when I was like holding it and everything, checking it out. Oh my god, Tyler's gonna kill me tomorrow. Um, yeah. When I was holding it and everything, it, it was. I felt. I thought it was a pretty nice weight. The one opening problem I'll give you this guy, so you, just so you know, it did have. Kind of, I was kind of confused at first when I was trying to cock back the slide. It will only go back a little bit, and then I finally figured out you had know, like push, push down this little part right here, this little silver ejection port, and like a little bit, and then it should go out. So um, I had to push that down a couple times to pull back the slide, and then finally I started getting that to work. So um, yeah, now it works fine. I mean, look, I can cock back, slide catch. Um, I do have to pull the trigger to shoot it. Um, I really like it though. 
definitely, I mean, it does have a metal slide, metal ejection port, metal internals. It does have that orange tip, which my dad's happy about, but I don't, I don't really care for it, you know. But, uh, yeah, it does have that. It's really nice, like I said. Nice mag. What I don't really like about the mag, though, one con, is this big bumper plate right here. It doesn't really cover up anything, so I don't know why it's there, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So, I'm fine with it. It's a nice weight. I don't know how much it weighs with the mag in it, but I think it's like 7.86 inches long or something. But yeah, so it's a really nice pistol. I suggest getting it. I mean, you guys could order it off any other site. This was $120, but with the trade-in, my dad, me and my dad only had to pay like $70. So uh, I do suggest either picking this one up at the store. I think they only have the gas one online for about 80, I think. But you're technically gonna be buying, spending like 100 and something. But um, yeah, like yesterday after I finally picked this up, I was like. Oh yeah, there's that. Cause there's like this really nice uh, silver, I think it's like chrome plated or whatever. Chrome um, M9, I think it was like really nice. But the problem is I don't really like gas. One con I I I think about gas is the fact that after you, like so say, say I was loading the gas right and it like it was leaking, it would spray everywhere. I mean I had tried that on Saturday and I went to my friend's house or I was with my friend. I smell like green gas the rest of the day until it's like shower. So that's the one con about green gas. The one thing that's the one thing I like about the CO2 is it's easy to load. Very, very nice. Like I'll I'll show you real quick. I'll grab the tool. I'll show you. Yeah, it's a little bit tough. There we go. So you take the CO you take out you use the tool you want, you adjust it. It takes because I, I did I did doozy on the screw, so Take me a while to pop it out. Alright, down it's out. So now I'm gonna grab one of my suit cartridges. I'm not gonna load it, I'm just gonna show you how. You slide the CO2 in, now it's in, right? Now you just screw back in. I'm not gonna put a CO2 CO2 cartridge in. I probably would. My sisters weren't here, my stupid sisters. They're so annoying. Today they're like, You're so dumb because you need a tutor. I'm like, a lot of people need tutors and they're freaking straight A students. They're already straight A students, so whatevs. But yeah. I do do not like my sisters, but yeah. I mean, some of you guys out there that have sisters, you guys might like them. I hate my sisters. Just saying. So it goes in, you cock it back, and then cock it back again because I keep having to pull the trigger. All right, now it's not safety. But yeah, I do like it, especially. Hang on a sec. Oh, yeah, here's my leg holster. I like it with both my leg holster, my leg holster. Uh, it's got a little bit of camo fitting on the front because I had to kind of walk off the front a bit because this is my revolver before I bought this or I traded in for this one. It kept sliding out. So now it fits kind of nicely with this one in it. Um, I like how it has like the flaming right here, the flaming symbol. I'll zoom up for you. Like the flaming symbol right here. I really like that. It looks cool. Um, it says made in Taiwan. Right? Yeah. As many times once. Yeah, there you go. Um, you have the serial number right on the bottom here. I don't know what I'll read it to you. Let's see, flip it over. Zero. Well, yeah, it's just a regular old serial number. Um, but yeah, th this is really nice. I do, like I said, I do suggest getting this. It's. I mean, I I've only shot it at my target, and my target's disintegrating from all the snow we've been getting here in Maryland, but. I have shot at it. It comes out with power from 10 feet away. I mean, I might do some more range testing. I don't know, but we'll have to see. You know, what I'm kind of stupid is my dad won't let me get, like, you know, the sticky targets. My dad won't let me get a sticky target for my room. It's like, no guns will be shot in the house. I'm like, sticky target won't ricochet, dum dum. You know, but you know, he he used yet. He gave uh he paid this extra seventy dollars for this thing, so I do. I do like him for that, <laughs> but yeah, it's a really nice gun. Woo! I forgot that mag just pops out though, because usually I'm used to having to pull the mag out. But yeah, I like the ejection port. I'm not going to take it down because I'm not the pro at taking down. You guys can leave me a comment or leave a post. I don't know, whatever you guys can do. But yeah, I hope you liked the video. 
Um, I'll catch you next time, guys.